Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. We're on episode number 67 of Let's Play the Restoration of Rome for City Kings 2. So I realized, like, la after I finished recording the last video, I realized that I got completely, totally distracted by the the DLC, and I got, like, four <laughs> like four countries down, and then I was like, ooh, pretty things, like, <laughs> let's play around with the dynasty. And I totally stopped looking around the map, so I wanted to look around a little bit more, and I feel like I kind of owe you. Some of that. So who who's Hussein? 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 Uh oh, that's scary. Sounds like Saddam. Spelled differently, of course. But Hussein is the uh, the new ruler. He's got thirty percent decadence. Actually, not gaining any right now, which is surprising. But uh, we got a new guy there. The Seljuk Empire is pretty strong. It is an empire, is it not? No, it's actually still just considered to be a kingdom. And it's Sultan Sinan the Accursed. Interesting. Meanwhile, this is all kind of messed up and, and fragmented a bit. If we take a look at the religion map mode, we haven't done that in quite a while. We've got a tiny little holdout of the Catholic religion. We've got quite a strong Slavic and Norse. And I mean, most of these religions are actually pretty darn strong. Surprisingly so, actually. The Slavics usually don't do this well. Usually it's the Norse that just go out of control. And uh, the Sumaniscos and Slavics get chewed up by either the Tengri or the Cat well, Catholic. They're, they've completely converted, actually. There's almost nothing that's... There's a few here. These are actually still... Um, it's it's kind of confusing. When you're looking at this, so if it's just a nice, pretty, pinkish-red color right now, that means that both the county is orthodox and the ruler is orthodox. When it's this dashed line here, that same color as the Catholic faith, that's telling you that the county is orthodox because it's the background, right? But the ruler is Catholic. So there's some some confusion there, but for the most part, it's it's pretty well, pretty well converted. Uh, we can even actually, if we want to, look at the the ledger to see how the religions are doing. In the ledger, we can see a religions tab. Here we go. So this is showing the number of Orthodox rulers, whether they are count, baron, whatever, doesn't matter. So we got 427 rulers who are Orthodox. Actually, I don't think that includes barons. It's probably just counts or above. Sunni is second place, 179. Slavic, yeah. Catholic is like none. Catholic, Catholic. Is Catholic even on this list? I don't think it is. Oh, that's right, because it's a heresy. It's it's considered a heresy of the Orthodox Church. This isn't even. This only shows the actual primary religions. It doesn't really show normal things. Old Tengri is not considered a her. Well, it's, isn't it a heresy? Whatever. I don't know. Let's check out Russia. What's Russia doing? Oh, Russia is at war with that guy, Lithuania. The Kingdom of Rus. Rus. Every time I say Rus or Rus, I think of Rus Bolton from Game of Thrones. So, okay. So, that cast of spell was totally, totally crap, and we only ended up with two counties after that entire huge war, so that's really frustrating. So I think what we're gonna do is uh, murder people and take, take all of their stuff. Emperor Arumba IV, the Glorious, will die soon. Do we need a new haircut? No. I don't think so. Somebody, <laughs> some people were making some pretty funny comments about how we've got the Holy Roman Empire and the Roman Empire, and so I'm, I'm totally going to do it. It's You guys are funny. I love playing with you guys. You're great. So we're going to go to... Do, 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 what are we going to do? Okay, go here. Go to the Roman Empire. And so we got the Holy Roman Empire and the Roman Empire. So we're going to name this the, the Holier... <laughs> The Holier Roman Empire. The Holier Roman Empire. Okay. <laughs> That's funny, funny, funny! That is actually how you spell Holier. I'm almost, almost positive. It could be totally wrong, actually. I don't know. I'm pretty sure. I mean, how else could you spell it? You wouldn't use a Y. We are holier than you are, you bastards. It's the Holy... Oh, let's do that. Instead of Holier, we'll just, we'll just name it Holiest. This is the holiest Roman Empire. And, of course, you can't see the cursor. It, it's difficult. It doesn't... There we go. The holiest Roman Empire. That's right. Yeah! Oh, and also, somebody commented, and you're absolutely correct, that the reason why I can now name grandkids is because I have that DLC. So, apparently, DLC is uh, necessary for that. And Paradox is doing a good job of milking it for what it's worth. But again, I don't begrudge them because they do a great job. And I love the company. And I would work for them if they'd hire me. If anybody knows anyone in Paradox who wants to get me hired, I'll gladly make Crusader Kings 2 shortcut mods for them. Keyboard shortcuts. I have a, a, a large array of, of 
skills related to this. I need to play this game now. I need to stop talking. No, I need to keep talking. I'm a little bit hyper. I've been drinking Mountain Dew. Yes, I quit my. I quit quitting. I'm sorry. So, and that's not true. I shouldn't be hyper. I should just be um, not as tired. Truce, truce, truce for four more years. Can we kill you? No. Of course not. Perhaps we should just expand, like, all over the place. I do think that this one's going to end soon, just because, I mean, you know, we've already conquered everything, basically. We've already won. Where is the king? Where does the king live? Okay, come on. Where's the king of Hungary? Of course, he's got a single county. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, he's at war with this duke. So let's attack the Duke of Pest. I have no valid cast of Oh, he's orthodox. Weird. How did that happen? He should be Tengri. Hungarians are supposed to be Tengri, not orthodox. Okay, so we have a truce now with the Holy Roman Empire. Uh, we do not have a truce with Germany. But we can't declare a war on Germany. Because apparently we don't have the Imperial Reconquest on this part of their land, and they are their proper Orthodox. So, it gets pretty messy looking at all this, but we do have, I think, some cast of spell like against this guy. So we can attack him. He is revolting against his liege, but we'll, we'll take that. We'll take... What can we take from you? Okay, he's, he's got land, like, way up there. Wow, you have a lot of land, don't you? Okay. Well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to declare war on as many of these little people that are rebelling as possible. And if they don't surrender back, if they don't surrender to their liege, then we'll take their stuff. Since they kind of foobarred my war. Foobar being the technical term, of course. And what I'm looking for are, I want all of these people who are not France, that are within what should be France, to be red. Like Barcelona. Can we attack Barcelona? Norse Catholic. We should do a Holy War or an Imperial Reconquest. The Holy War gives us moral authority, and we take everything for sure. Imperial Reconquest... Basically the same thing, except that it... Yeah, I guess we'll do a Holy War in this case. Yeah, Asturias is not independent. He is underneath Asturias. We have a truce timer with you, I think, maybe? We don't. Okay, well, we'll take those two then, please. And the king of Galicia. We shall take from you, Galicia. And Portugal. We shall take... This guy is Norse-Swedish. We can do a holy war, maybe? Nope. Apparently we can't do a uh, holy war. Why not? He's Norse. He's a pagan. Oh, we don't have anything that borders it. It's not close enough, that's why. But we do have that cast of spell. So we'll use that one there. And that's probably enough wars to keep me busy for a while. I mean, we don't have anything going against the Muslims, but... We probably should. Let's attack, we'll attack this guy, too. Where do you live? Oh, really? Interesting. I don't have a truce timer with him anymore. He must have just came off. Well, how many troops? <laughs> Hold on. How many troops do you have? 65,000. We've got 135. I think we can handle a war with him, too. But let's make it someplace that's going to be difficult for him to defend. Actually, I, I, you know what? Let's just, let's just take that one. There we go. Just, we'll just take that one province. That's all I want. Okay, so we just declared war on this entire thing for one province, but I want to clean up that little border. It's, it's really irritating, so... Okay, raise the men! Actually, keep ours down, because they're annoying. We'll, we'll use everyone's troops but our own. You guys can all head there. You guys can hop on the boats. Boats. So I'm going to be working on a new version of the Keyboard Shortcuts mod soon, I think. A very minor change to it. I'm just going to add in the... There's going to be an event, a decision that you can click that will tell you what all the shortcuts are. 
which is a great idea. Um, somebody had asked about that, and I said, you know, I can never remember what all the keyboard shortcuts are. See, for me, it's, it's kind of, you know, I know them all because I put them in. You know, I, I kind of have to know them. And also, I use them a lot, so I get used to it, but... But for other people, I can understand why it would be difficult to remember. So we'll just put in a little event pop-up that people can use to remind themselves what the keyboard shortcuts are. And it will be glorious. Again, not enough boats down there, so let's, let's actually take that down there. And then all these boats, I think we'll take to this general area. Except, no, we'll just... I'm going to assault this single county guy. Okay, we're only playing on speed 3 because we got lots going on. We've got lots of wars. If you've watched the Tangri playthrough, you or Prince and the Thane playthrough, you're used to me declaring 30 to 40 wars at a time. It's a lot of micro, but it's far, far more time efficient, which is huge when it comes to to actually conquering the map in a fast pace. Now what we need to do here is we need to notice how some of these are slightly more highlighted. These are war goal provinces. I have to take those. Um, and I keep calling them provinces because of EU4. They're war goal counties. They're part of a specific war. So if it's just flashing like this, then it's, it's nothing special. But actually all of this Is it all? No, that's clearly brighter than this is. I could have sworn there was a single little dude, didn't I? Yeah, An Ancona is a single guy. So we need to take that stuff. It's important. Quintessential, in fact. And get all these peoples together where they belong. So, you guys there, there on the boats. Combine, combine, on the boats, on the boats. All these boats can do what? What are you guys doing? Get over to the sea. And all you boats, plus you boats, head to there. And that army's gonna go there, okay, we're good. Also, I know that um, by the time you see this video, the stream will have already happened, but I just wanted to mention that I am starting streaming. Streaming is happening, it's a thing, it's a thing now. It's on twitch.tv slash aruba07. Aruba07 is the real me. There was somebody else who took Aruba06. I don't know who that guy is, but he's not me. I don't know what he was thinking. And I'm almost positive that now that I mention it, someone's going to probably try to sneak Aruba... Oh, damn it. See, look at that. There we go. There go most of our wars. So, that's unfortunate, but um, <laughs> she somehow either... The, the, how did it die? What happened? Liege changes for Duchess Eve the first of Orleans. 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 So she apparently. Um, how did that? I mean, was it? Did you just? I don't know. I'm not really sure how she ended that war so quickly. Either she still had troops somehow, and she was just able to quell the rebellion, or perhaps she sieged through the primary holding and actually managed to capture her giving her an extra 50% war score. But uh, there go most of our wars. So we still have the Holy War for Barcelona, Asturias, all this stuff, plus the war against the Muslims, plus the war against this guy. So that's okay. But I was hoping to consume some more of France there. <clears throat> okay. I don't think we're going to need a huge amount of men there, but let's send these guys up to the war goal so we can get a ticking war score started. I'm hesitant to actually bring the retinue along. In fact, I really don't want to at all, so let's just not. We'll go down here and start working on this target. Actually, I didn't declare war on this. I declared war on that. And he just happens to control, like, all of it, so... We don't even need to worry about that. We just need to get men over here. So we had... I remember these two, plus this, plus this. All of this is war, war target, so let's go there. Barcelona, 2600, that's sufficient to start that siege. You guys need boats. Let's wait till these guys get off the boats, then we'll send the boats over there to pick that army up. Oh, he's got 18,000 troops. I don't want to name my grandsons, I don't care. 
now that I have that DLC and I know how it works, I, I don't even want to do it. Um, yeah, he's got a lot of men. Surprising. I mean, look at that. That's that's a ton of men. Is it because you did like some? Yeah, they're probably event spawn troops that he got to carry over. But um. We'll be fine. Not enough men to actually get onto those. Not enough boats, rather. And he's actually bringing a stack of 9600 down, so... I think it is time for us to... take... some of these men, as many as will fit. 8000 and go reinforce that battle and actually send those guys back over there because we're gonna lose this battle pretty handily if I don't reinforce it and get some good commanders so okay well I do need to um, I need to keep these videos right around 15 minutes I've got to get caught up on my on my playthrough so as soon as I get caught up they'll start to get longer in length probably between 18 and 25 like normal but right now I've just I need to get out some some quantity in order to get back to a semblance of normalcy so gotta take a break here I'll see you again soon thanks for watching see you in a bit